project. So I don't know if you guys are aware of the fish ladder on the Cedar River. That'd be something to look into and research. So a few of our projects and then Keep Loot Basin Beautiful. That's what this project is through. And uh, we're a Keep America Beautiful affiliate. And this is one of our projects to, to keep all this out of the landfill. So um, just imagine uh, what we're finding is uh, a lot of fathers are taking the bikes back and putting it by the dumpster on Saturday morning and taking the credit card and going and buying a new bike. That's not necessary. If uh, you guys learn as much as you can on how to fix them and let's keep this material out of the landfill. You may have to take parts from one to put on another. Um, we have been working with uh, Mr. Gary Hughes out of Lincoln. He is Amy Hughes's uh, father-in-law. He works with the Bike Kitchen, bike kitchen. Uh, research that, see what they do in Lincoln. A lot of our bikes previously in this last year were going to Lincoln and uh, we're finding that a lot of uh, people that don't have transportation, don't have a car, don't have a pickup, are picking up these bicycles from uh, area churches and that's our transportation and that's why when we grabbed the one with uh, the rack on there this morning that might be somebody that's even here in our community that ends up with that bike that can go and get uh, milk and some necessity groceries from the grocery store and maybe their mail and uh, travel home again so uh, just think about some of those things while you're working on it and we appreciate Mr. Ference that you're um, wanting to to do this and and appreciate you guys too uh, um, taking care of um, these bikes and getting them to somebody that needs them and going to enjoy them just one thing i'd like to say there's a lot of times there's a lot of underprivileged children in this world that can use them that don't have a bike that might want one and think about that especially through your churches and stuff like that you know, i guess i'd just like to add that you know for years uh, Dale and Janet have been helping with these projects. And a few years ago, we actually had a household hazardous waste cleanup along with a paint cleanup. And we ended up collecting 55 gallons of paint, but times 15 of those. We filled with old used paint, plus batteries, plus a lot of different chemicals, even kitchen chemicals that couldn't be mixed that we were able to go ahead and dispose of properly by their use. And we really appreciate all you guys do for us. The tire collections have been amazing. It not only gets rid of an eyesore, it also keeps them from going into the dumps. And a lot of them are ground up and make mats for sh cattle shoots, etc., etc. And so we really appreciate all you guys do very much. And it's huge. Thank you. Okay, you guys go ahead and grab a bike. Those bikes in the middle, those little ones, there's some really nice bikes in there. That is my dream bike. strong as you guys see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you guys.